Cadillac's decision to change the name of its super sedan from CTS to CT5 is weird, but all is forgiven when it's attached to the phrase V Blackwing. Why? Because the 2024 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing will go down in history as the most incredible sedan of all time from any automaker. Is it the supercharged 6.2 liter V8 with 668 horsepower? Is it the standard six-speed manual? Is it the world-beating handling? Or is it the bodacious interior that catapults the mightiest of Cadillacs into this level of breathless boasting? The answer is D, all of the above. This is the Blackwing to rule them all. Blackwing is an interesting name with an even more interesting backstory. But before we get to that, would you kindly click the subscribe button below? Everyone here at The Empty Garage thanks you. Now, about that Blackwing name. Fun fact, the American automotive mecca of Detroit was originally founded by a Frenchman with the last name Cadillac, and decorating his coat of arms are several black ducks, though they no doubt have a prettier name than that in French. Hence the name Blackwing. This could lead us down a tangential rabbit hole of the Katera, an old caddy that zigged with some help from its cartoon duck mascot. But that is a story for another day. Instead, we'll stay focused on the modern Blackwing, a truly spectacular vehicle. Now, the 2024 CT5 Blackwing is not to be confused with the underappreciated CT6V that featured the Blackwing motor. In that caddy, the Blackwing was a 4.2 liter twin turbo overhead cam V8. It made a hearty 550 horsepower and 640 pound-feet of torque, but was unfortunately ignored by most. That is not the case with the CT5V. Today's beastly Blackwing is a 6.2 liter pushrod V8 from the LT4 series, a lineup that has been featured in greats like the C7 Corvette Z06 and the Camaro ZL1, to name a few. An intercooled 1.7 liter twin scroll Eaton supercharger jams enough air down the gullet to generate 668 horsepower and 659 pound-feet of torque. That makes it the most powerful sedan in Cadillac history. A single master engine builder assembles the Blackwing V8 by hand and affixes a signed plaque with their name on the engine cover upon completion. And oh my, what an engine it is. The all aluminum construction sports titanium intake valves and fabricated tri-Y exhaust manifolds. Forged aluminum pistons help produce 108 horsepower per liter and the wet sump oiling system with an external separator is ready for track duty. Your father's Cadillac, this is not. A standard six-speed manual routes power to the rear wheels. It's a transmission that features a twin disc clutch, active rev matching to make you feel like Andretti, and a no-lift shift feature. Now, I don't know about you, but I would have to think that this ability to keep the go pedal planted while shifting is downright bizarre. Oh yeah, there's also a 10-speed automatic option, but spending three grand on this would be a terrible mistake. These specs alone are enough to make an enthusiast weak in the knees. If you stop to think about it for a second, it's simply outrageous that this power plant even exists. Heady times, friends, heady times. But as ferocious as this engine is, the CT5 Blackwing is equally ready to kill it in the handling department. Thanks to Magnetic Ride Control 4.0, the latest Blackwing offers freakish levels of poise under pressure. I guess that's what happens when your shocks are filled with suspended iron particles awaiting magnetization. A process that includes reading the road up to 1,000 times per second. No big deal. 19-inch wheels that can be finished in a gorgeous tech bronze color put the rubber to the road courtesy of Michelin and their Pilot Sport 4S summer tires. Measuring one foot wide out back, one can just imagine burning up $100 bills and epic smoke shows. Keeping all this performance in check is a four-corner Brembo braking system. Up front, six-piston calipers clamp down on 15.7-inch rotors. That is enormous. The 14.7 inch rears aren't exactly tiny themselves, but what if you want to really show off? Slap down nine grand and Caddy will fit your Blackwing with cross-drilled carbon ceramic units that slow things down in a hurry. They also reduce rotating unsprung mass and look pretty nifty too. Paint those calipers red, blue, or bronze for even more style points. That style continues to the cabin where 18-way adjustable front thrones with heating, cooling, and massaging await you. 
Step up to the high performance buckets for deep bolsters, gloss black shoulder harness slots, and a handsome blend of black and tan leather with quilted upper panels and red stitching. Fancy! The steering wheel comes with carbon fiber trim and a serialized number plate, but opt for the suede microfiber treatment and watch it extend around the wheel, onto the shifter, and up onto the headliner. That shifter, by the way, has a hand-polished 3D printed medallion on top that looks the six-figure part. And just in case you needed any more convincing not to buy the automatic, in Black Wings with the Stick, laser etched maps of the Milford Proving Grounds and GM Technical Center adorn the paddle shifter covers. These are two of some 24 Easter eggs Caddy has spread around its Alpha sedan. Cool reminders that this car is far more than a simple transportation appliance. Of course, features like an infotainment touchscreen, digital gauge cluster, and head up display are on hand. But the most impressive cabin tech on this caddy is the 16-speaker audio system by AKG. Ready to complement the 85 decibels of glorious noise from the engine at wide open throttle, this stereo has laser etched brushed aluminum grills that look amazing. One other bit of technology worth investigating is the performance data and video recorder. It'll capture real-time video of your track days with engine speed, braking force, and steering wheel angle metrics. Analyze it with the Cosworth Toolbox so you can be up to the task of exploring this all-time caddy's limits, which are very high. As in circling the skid pad at 1.02 Gs, hitting 60 miles an hour from a standstill in under 4 seconds, running the quarter mile in 11.6 seconds at 125 miles per hour, and cracking the 200 mile per hour mark for a top speed. Even in today's power-soaked automotive landscape, 200 miles per hour is a big deal. At these type of speeds, the Magneto Rheological dampers, wide rubber, and giant brakes are ready to lend confidence should your palms start to sweat. But so do the carefully engineered aerodynamics on the CT5 Blackwing. The front splitter, fender vents, rocker extensions, rear spoiler, underbody panels, and rear diffuser do more than give this caddy attitude. Each one is a functional component of a comprehensive aerodynamic system. Now, the optional carbon fiber aero bits definitely do look pretty but they also reduce lift by 75% according to Cadillac. All of this played a role in the CT5 Blackwing clocking a time of 24.7 seconds in the 0 to 150 to 0 mile per hour contest put on by Car and Driver last year. To put that figure in perspective, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS did the same deed in 24.4 seconds. In case you missed it, the GT3 RS is a winged track beast of a car with a roughly $300,000 price tag and a 4 liter flat 6 that'll sing up to 9,000 RPMs. So yeah, the Blackwing is kind of a big deal. Not only did it nearly match one of the best all-time sports cars in this competition, it blew the doors off two all-time sports sedans as well. Shortly after arriving on the scene in 2022, the CT5V Blackwing was stacked up against the best of Bavaria, specifically the Audi RS7 and the BMW M5 competition, in a comparison by that same rag responsible for the 150 mile an hour test. A rag that is arguably the best in the business, by the way. At the end of this matchup, the Caddy smoked the Germans while earning a perfect score for its chassis and fun to drive factor. And that was with the automatic, which is what this wolf in sheep's clothing has been aiming for since its predecessors first landed 20 years ago. It was then that Cadillac's V-Series kicked off with the CTS, STS, and XLR variants. By Gen 2, we got the CTS and sedan, coupe, and the unbelievably cool V-Wagon. The Gen 3 V-Series included the now-retired ATS nameplate, and for Gen 4, we have the V Blackwing. This car is the culmination of Cadillac's work to build the ultimate world-beating sedan. Depending on who you talk to, the CT5V Blackwing has been described as visceral and ferocious. But brute in a suit feels just right. We'll take ours with the stick, please.